हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो तो दिस क्वेश्चन वाज आज इन ट्रेड एंड एनालिटिक्स इंटरव्यू आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विद थ्री मेथड्स आई विल स्टार्ट विद द टफेस्ट वन देन लिटिल इजियर एंड देन द इजीएस्ट वन ओके सो इज द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सो लेट मी जस्ट टेक दिस सेवरल फ्रेंड्स एट अ सिनेमा टिकट ऑफिस वुड लाइक टू रिजर्व कंजुक्यूटिव अवेलेबल सीट्स ओके सो दे आर फ्रेंड्स हु वांट टू reserve cinema tickets consecutive tickets can you help to query all the consecutive available seats ordered by the seat id using the following cinema table okay so you have a table where you have seat id 1 2 3 4 5 and then it is saying if a seat is free or not so for example seat number 1 is free 2 is occupied 3 4 5 are free your query should return the following result for the sample case above So in this, if you see, these three seats are consecutively free, right? All three are free, so they are there in the output. Now, now there can be two consecutive seats free, or three consecutive, or four consecutive. That can be anything, right? If you see, they are saying consecutive available seats are more than two inclusive seats consecutively available, right? So it can be two or three or four or five. It should be just consecutive seats, and all those seats we have to give in the output. Here, if you see, seat number one is free, but next seat is not free. So this is not there, right? Two is anyway not free, right? So this is also not the input. For three, there is a consecutive seat here, right? So so these three are consecutive. So that's how you have to solve it. So I have created more data. Let me show you. So. I have more data, and let's solve this using three methods. So in this, if you see, one is is free, but consecutive is not free. But three, four, five are free. So in our output, three, four, five will be there. So let me put the output three, four, five. Okay, what else will be there? Apart from that, if you see six, seven, no, uh, this is not free. This is free. So seven, eight will be there in the output. So let's call seven, eight. Okay. And then again, nine uh, will not be there. Ten will not be there because there is no consecutive seat. Eleven will not be there. Twelve will not be there. Thirteen will not be there. Fourteen and fifteen will be there. So we will have fourteen and fifteen. These are consecutively free, right? And again, if you go down, all seventeen to twenty will be free, right? So seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. So if you see four plus two six six plus five. Eleven total. Eleven seats are consecutive free, right? So this is what we are looking for in the output. These eleven seats. Okay. So let's start with method one. This is the most complex method to solve this problem. I would say there are easier way, but let's let's see how we can solve it using this method. So what we can do? First of all, one thing is clear. We are interested only in free seats. So let's filter that. I'll say select a star from cinema where three equal to one, right? This will give me all the seats which are free. Okay. Now we need to check which are consecutive free. So for that, what I will do, I will drive a row number. I will tell you why. Okay. Just let me put this row number and then I will explain why I need it. Order by seat ID. As let's say R n. Okay. Now if I run this, if you see, this is a running number from one till fourteen. Here seat ID. So there can be some gaps because there are some seats which are not free, like two or for example here if you see nine. So there are up to twenty seat numbers are till twenty and row number is from one to forty. Now, interesting thing about this pattern is, if you see three, four, five, these are consecutive, and the row number is two, three, four. So seat number is also increasing by one, right? And row number is also increasing by one, correct? So if I take a difference, it will give me difference as one. This will also give as one. This will also give as one. Now let's look at the next thing. So seven, eight is also free. But now, if you see six is not there, six is gone. But this is a running number, right? Six is gone. I mean, six is not there. Now, if you see, there will be a difference of two. So, if you see seven minus five two, eight minus six two. So these both will have, both will have difference as two. Similarly, if we go forward, if we go here, ten, right? Ten minus seven three. 
now again there is a gap 12 minus 8 is 4 right so there is only one one row in the group of three there is only one row in the group of four when i do a difference that will create a group again 14 minus 9 is 5 again in the group of four there is only one row in the group of five let's say 14 minus 9 5 again this is consecutive so 15 minus 10 is 5 so if i subtract seat number minus rn i will get a group right so let me write it i will say seat id minus and row number as grp now if i run this you will see these three are in the same group right these two in the same group in the group three there is only one row in the group four there is only one row right which means if in any group i have more than one row those are consecutive seats so these three are consecutive these two are consecutive right these two are consecutive and these four are consecutive right so i can simply use this methodology to solve this now what i will do let me call it as with ct now in the output i need seat numbers right so what i will do i'll say select star from ct and i will take a count here count star and i will use a window function here because i need seat id also in the output so i will say over sorry partition by partition by group as cnt right so if i just run this now uh, as is missing and if i just run this now you will see i am getting count three because i am created a partition on group so these three are in same partition so count is three similarly for these two count is two for this count is one there is only one person in this group right count two and count four right now i can simply say give me all the records where count is greater than one so i can just create this select star from let's call a where count is greater than one right i don't need where there is only one row in the group okay so that's it it is giving me those 11 rows if you see 3 4 5 7 8 14 3 4 5 7 8 14 15 17 18 19 20 15 17 18 19 20 so this is my right answer okay so this was my method one okay let's move on to the method two so let me just take this and say method two method two okay now let's let's look at the table again select star from cinema okay now just think about it if there are two seats let me again filter it right let me again filter it where three equal to one again i am interested in three seats only okay now think about this let me create two instances of this table okay you would have got an idea that we are we are going to do a self join so what we will do we will join every seat with the next seat of this table which means i i will say join one with seat id plus one right so if one will join with two but two is not there right i will say seat id plus one of this table should be equal to seat id of this table so when i say one plus two one plus one two so two is not there so it will not be joined right and and that's right because there is no consecutive seat one after one two is not there two is not free so that will not be joined now let's look at this three right I will say seat id plus one which will be four and join with this table and it will be joined it means there is a consecutive seat okay so let me write the query and then it will be much clearer okay so i'll just say select star from cinema right this is an easy method than previous one let me just explain it again cinema 2 okay uh, let's call it c2 on as i said c1 dot seat id right c1 dot seat id plus one should be equal to c2 dot seat id 
right seat id plus 1 should be equal to c2 dot seat id right and also we need to put this filter where c1 dot free equal to 1 and c2 dot free equal to 1 right both of them we are filtering on only the free seats and then i'm joining it so let me just take this okay okay so if you see three is joined with four of c2 table so the c1 the seat number three from c1 is joined with seat number four of c2 why because i am saying seat id plus one so three plus one four four is joined with this four similarly this four is joined with five so consecutive seats will be joined together and we will get all of those in the output right now the only thing is this three and 20 are not there right all of all all of others are there right so if you see what we need to do see these are common from 4 till 19 and 4 till 19 right so what i need to do i will just union these two so i'll say to get whole list let's say with cts select and let's call it c1 dot seat id as s1 comma c2 dot seat id as s2 okay and i will say select s1 from ct union i want to remove duplicate select s2 from ct right and this will give me the required output right i got all the seats 11 seats from 3 4 5 7 8 14 15 and 17 18 19 Okay, so here we don't have to think much, right? We are just, this is only the tricky thing that seat ID plus one, because if they are consecutive seats, then plus one of this will be joined with the seat ID of other table, right? If they are not consecutive, consecutive are not available because we are filtering on three equal to one, then this join will never happen. Only for consecutive seats, this join will happen, right? Because seat ID are uh, in increasing order, consecutive, right? One, two, three. If there is a gap, then there is a gap. Okay, this is method two. Let's talk about method three, right? Now method three, we will use the same philosophy, right? That we will use the same philosophy that consecutive seats we need to find. The consecutive seats should be available free. So what I will do here, I will say lag of free comma one i'll just tell you what i am doing over order by c tide i'm not filtering anything here i'm not filtering on a uh, free i'll tell you what i will do as previous free so i'm taking the previous free for each seat i'm checking if the previous row is free or not right also i'm checking if the next seat is free or not so it will be next free Okay, so this query will give me for each row, for each row, if the previous is free or next is free, right? Now, if you look at carefully for all the seats to be consecutively free, right? For example, seat number four. For seat number four, if either the previous row is free or the next row is free, then in the case, that row will be considered as consecutive. So for four, either previous is free or next is free right then it will be considered as a consecutive seat and also this has to be free right let's look at this example so let's go down and if you look at this 17 now for 17 previous is not free but next is free right and this anyway is free then we can say it has a consecutive seat so what i will do i will write a simple select star from this a where i will say the seat should be free right so free should be equal to one right the current seat and either of this should be free either previous free should be free or next free should be free right if either one of them is free and this current seat is also free then we can say it is part of one of the consecutive free seats right let me run this and we got the same answer from 3 till 
20 they are 11 seats right i hope this makes sense i feel this method is very intuitive because you just have to check if the current seat is free or one of the previous or next should be free right and that will solve your problem i hope it makes sense and let me know if you have any other better or easier solution to solve this problem thanks for watching and do like the videos thank you